It's just like you're great. When this that cat want to get that hornet, like he looking like real, like he's he's got a job to do. Anyway, um, don't hurt yourself. That uh, no one is, no one is in hell. First of all, in the meaning burning in hell, because the only burning that you'll be doing is the lake of fire. There is no burning in hell that uh, is apart from the lake of fire okay the only burning in hell that you'll ever do god forbid or that human beings will ever endure is the lake of fire that's the only burning in hell that is right this is why the lord jesus christ said do not fear the one who can destroy he said do not fear the one who can destroy the body and do no more right because that's the physical death that's the first death he said, but fear the one who could destroy both body and soul in hell. Do you know what the word destroy means? That's part of the problem. We say these words. We say the word death. We say the word perish. These are the things that I humbled myself on. And I actually did the research. And I did the research and looked in the Hebrew, looked in the Greek and saw what these words actually mean. Because we get so full of ourselves and we don't understand the spiritual realm because we're humans. We're stuck in the physical realm. We're spiritual people because we have the Holy Spirit, but the only other part of that would be a spirit that is deceived. You see what I'm saying? Which is a demon, okay? Because a spirit is a demon, unless or or um or evil spirit, which is a uh, yeah, a, a evil spirit, a devil, a, sp a evil spirit, an unclean spirit, or a demon, right? Or it's your soul you understand so the soul and the spirit aren't the same we need to know that um the only other spirit other than what i just said is the holy spirit the spirit of christ the spirit of the father that's all one okay and now that spirit is what we have now apart from us having that the spiritual realm is only to us a deception you know what i mean it's only a deception because we have no basis of guidance we have nothing to lead and guide us in all truth okay so when you have the holy spirit he leads and guides you in all truth and now you're on good you're you're in good standing right and so now you're able to navigate and discuss things that are spiritual but apart from that you can't talk about spiritual matters unless you're a satanist or you're just somebody deceived or you're just somebody who thinks that satan's your buddy and you're still deceived okay and you're a satanist and you're deceived still because you think satan's your buddy other than that, you know what I mean? There's only two things. So it's either good or evil, right and wrong, Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of Christ, which is the Spirit of the Father, or the devil and, and, and evil spirits, okay? Spirit of Satan, right? Spirit of this world. It's all the same, right? Now, um, uh, so, the... The children who are dead currently now and um and they are like at a, a at an age where they can be judged they're sleep, okay? They're actually sleep. So like babies that you aborted and stuff like that, they go straight to heaven, okay? Um babies that died like my grandmother um she had a baby that died and he lived, I believe, to be seven days or probably more, seven weeks maybe. I'm not sure. 
But either way, the bottom line is he goes straight to paradise, you understand? Where they eat from the tree of life. They eat from the tree of life. The tree of life is actually in paradise. The book of Revelation speaks about this. Um, I can read it for you. Let me see if I can find it real quick because I'm big on actually going to the quotes of what I preach. I think it's responsible. But I want you guys also to um, do your own studying and researching. Uh, he says, let's see. Uh, look at you. About to fall on your face. Uh... Okay, right here it says in, in Revelation chapter 2, verse 7. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Okay, so some people are already there. Like we know the thief on the cross is there. We know that um, John did not die, so he's there. We know that Elijah's there, Moses, uh, well, whoever those, yeah, Moses. Um, hold up, was that Elijah? Elijah and Moses, yeah, Moses. Also, um, um, also, what's my man's name? Um, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, and um, John the Apostle. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna stop there. Now, um, Now, um, piggybacking on the dead children who will be judged, like if you're nine, you know what I mean? Children molest, children molest other children, you know, um, because, you know, I remember seeing, well, I didn't see it, sorry, I didn't see it, but I remember my, 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 um, my cousin saw two friends of mine these are friends of mine and I thank God nothing ever happened to me sexually but these children did I know both of them? yeah I did know both of them and these were young boys and they was actually getting it on outside in the middle of the yard okay getting it on and I was shocked because nothing sexual in a violating way ever happened you know, with me and them, them and me. So, you know, but these things happen and we have to be very careful because children can be judged. Also, children have a very foul mouth. Um, a lot of women, uh, young girls also, um, you know, you know, can be, you know, you know, now, now I will say, you know, about playing house. I did play house with some girls, you know what I mean? And you know what happens. You guys know what happens when you play house. Okay, uh, and playing house is kinky. You're filling on each other. You're touching each other, and I did a lot of those kind of things. Um, I ain't gonna say a lot, but I did those things, right? As a ch as a child, I did those things, and and children are horny and they're curious and they're doing stuff like that, and so you know, um, and they know right from wrong. And also, some children are watching their parents. You know what I mean? And some children are being molested by adults and so they go on molesting because they've been molested also um i thank god that has never happened to me um and i praise god for all those who would also never happen to amen but i also pray for those who have experienced it that god free your mind up and i rebuke the devil in the name of the lord jesus christ because a lot of times what i've recognized that it, it becomes a spiritual thing where demons try to latch themselves within that whole family or they just try to do that you know over and over with with different people in the family see what I'm saying um and and it's more prevalent you hear about it more and more um I didn't hear about it coming up a lot but it, the older I got I hear I heard about it I heard it, you, you start to find out more and more that this stuff is really actually going on a lot and so children they do it a lot of sexual sin, a lot of sneaky sexual sin, even more sneaky because 
they are supposed to be innocent and they know that they're not supposed to be doing these things and we act like these things are only um, preferable as an adult but if you're not married it's not preferable period um, so that also I'm um, listening to foul music I mean the sins of a child aren't really um, as gross and intense and and um and 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 in depth as an adult because the more you learn the doctrine of the devil the more you learn the ways of the world the more you sin as you learn it and practice that and become a full-time practitioner of sin but when you're a child you're curious you're learning your 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 like I smoked weed as a child a little bit like I was what I was twelve when I started smoking weed you know what I mean and now if I were to die that would have been held against me if I were to die and see the thing is a lot of us don't understand like and we need to understand better that we have to be careful with this doctrine about hell because you're actually saying that there are people burning up in hell currently right now at the age of like where they died at 12 or they died at 11 or 10 or 9 and say they died in like the early 1800s you see what I'm saying like God is a just God and this is how you know that people don't know God to the extent that they need to know this is why I'm at a very elevated area in God and I don't say that to boast, but I say that to boast in the Lord for what he's doing in my life. Because in this elevated area, it's a it's a better understanding of the love of God. Because people who don't understand heaven and hell and how it works, they're also not fully comprehensive of the love of God. You see what I'm saying? Like Otherwise, because you're thinking that God is okay with leaving somebody burning from the 1600s to now and we're still waiting on judgment day see what I'm saying and they've been burning since the 1600s or do you want better they've been burning since before Jesus died on the cross okay AD uh, BC rather like since the time of um, you know I don't know Abel or, or, or you know or um, since the time of uh any person in the scriptures that you could feel like picking from it's all you know thousands of years ago right and so you're basically saying that okay because in because see the thing is when you come from the hood it makes more sense when you don't come from the hood it's just like that's what the bible says amen right but when you come from the hood you deal with a lot of death when you come from the ghetto when you come from a life of violence and i'm not talking about a violent household merely because I'm talking about violence in the city and it's prevalent and you're used to it and it's always in the news and you're always hearing about children dying you're always hearing about you know 13 year olds being murdered you're always regularly hearing about you know um, 16, 16 year olds 9 year olds okay don't don't think that these 9 year olds and these 10 year olds and 12 year olds and 13 year olds are dying innocent lives no they're dying lives where they can be judged you understand on judgment day like the youth grew up fast okay I got partners right who was and these are people who were my OG's my old timers right they was doing heroin some of these people I got a buddy that I know okay he, he older than me right he come from D.C. when D.C. was predominantly black uptown. Georgetown was black. No, not Georgetown wasn't black yet, but all uptown was black. And Southeast was white, right? European American. Georgetown, uh, uh, Af uh, African American uptown, Northwest, right? And in this time frame, heroin was huge. This is before crack. This is before base, right? And so this is the 70s, right? Um, and... And um, what I'm trying to say to you is that they were these people 
and a handful of these people that I know were addicted to heroin at like eight, okay? Seven and eight years old, you understand? So I want you guys to get an understanding because I know that people don't understand because some of you guys probably in the suburbs, some of you guys, but see, when you live a city life, you grow up fast. Drugs are fast. Like I told you, I smoked weed at 12. My first cigarette was 10. I was 10 years old smoking my first cigarette. I lost my virginity at 14. Yeah, 14. See what I'm saying? Um, and some people lost it younger than that. I got buddies who lost it at nine. You know what I mean? Um, and this is just what it is. You feel me? It's part of, it's part of that street life. It's part of that demonic, fast life of just the city life. Not even merely um, poor poverty. When I'm talking about city life. Just the city life. City slickers live a slick life. It's not about poverty. Like it's about like you know people in Georgetown. High on cocaine. I knew this young lady when I was a fitness trainer. I used to train her. She like Paris Hilton. Look identical to Paris Hilton. And she dyed, she blonde, dyed her hair blonde. She was from Turkey. Young girl. She was probably like 21. She had to be like 20 or 21. And she was addicted to cocaine. She even asked me how she could get cocaine. See what I'm saying? She's only 20 years old. I, I met a young girl, European American girl. Beautiful, gorgeous. Beautiful. You know what I mean? Um, and when I say beautiful, I mean she was really beautiful. Like she was a real beautiful European American girl. And I mean skin which is clear. Like you know what I mean? Like wow, she ain't no blemishes on her face. But this girl was addicted to heroin. <laughs> okay? Was. She's a child of God now. But she was addicted to heroin. She's not from DC. She's not from the hood. But she's from, you know, a fast life. I think she I don't remember where she's from. I don't remember where she's from. I think she's from New England. I don't know. But like, and I talked to people who's from, you know, different young, young um, people from New England. European Americans from New England, like Boston area, Massachusetts area. And they dealing with gun violence. And these people, these are, these are European Americans, okay? You're not even hearing about this on the news as enough as you need to, right? And they're dealing with gun violence. They're dealing with violence, right? Um... Like Marky Mark, Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberg, right? He come from the white hood because they got hoods too in certain parts of America. And they, and they not trailer parks, you know what I mean? They got, you know, rough communities, just brick cities like brick cities like we live in. Like, you know, probably projects or just, you know, section eights and stuff like that. And it's rough. And they, and they working out, they going to prison. They part of their Aryan nations. You see what I'm saying? They not scared. They doing push-ups. They doing what they do too, right? But what I'm saying is, those people could relate. You see what I'm saying? But when you live in the suburbs, and when you like live this secluded life, or when you live this life where you're not really from the life of like a a, a life of, you know, where people grow up fast, like New York City, D.C., Chicago, L.A., places like that, um, you, you don't really understand But there's death all the time With the youth All the time They're the number one people murdering everybody Okay it's, 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 it's more people in my city Murdering people under 25 Than there are people who are over 25 Okay Um, You know It was like I said in the other video I mentioned that there was a boy who just got locked up He got four bodies and he's 16 years old. See what I'm saying? 16. That means six years ago, you were 10. Okay? Now, you don't just... Six years doesn't just do that. Like, you was already bad at, si at 10. You was already bad at 10. See what I'm saying? You got to understand, like, six years didn't just do that. Not just six years. Like, real talk. So, um... Not saying six years can't be what does that, but no. It's more than that. It's you waking up... And going to sleep every day, breathing this, this air of this street life. And so there are people who have been living this life at a young age, and they will be dead soon at 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and, 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 and 10, 9. I mean, I, when I used to go work out at the playground, this boy, man, this one boy, he couldn't have been no older than, I mean, all them little kids, all them little children, rather. 
They could have been, man, I'm talking about eight, seven, nine. They was wicked. Those little children were evil. Children are evil in a different capacity, too, because they're raw with theirs. You see what I'm saying? Who do you think start gangs? Gangs are started from the youth. It's the youth that start gangs. Go back and look at the book of Judges, right? Go back and look at the book of um, um, Chronicles. Look at um, Ro Rohabam, uh, Solomon's son. He was young and he sought the wicked. He sought the wicked youth. He didn't seek the elders. See what I'm saying? The youth are the most wicked people a lot of times. You feel me? Like, like, like the prisons with the youth are more worse. Y'all probably looking at these prison shows. Man, you better look at the... They ain't got no shows for the youth because they can't show the youth. But I guarantee you, them the ones that ain't playing for real, for real. They not playing. Them youth ain't playing because it's raw. It's his foolishness is bound up in the heart of a child. Right? And then the scripture says that foolishness is sin. It says the very thought of foolishness is sin. So they're sinful. Um, it says if a child can be known... It says even a child is known for their good, right? And then the child children are also known for their evil. That's a paraphrase. So that's in the book of Proverbs. But anyway, um I say that to say, listen, these children, the heart of the father does not desire that anyone perish, right? So with that being said, you know, he's merciful also, right? Some of these people grew up this way because they didn't have a a father and a mother. And it says when the Lord when, when your mother when your father rather and your mother forsake you the Lord will take you up right so the Lord is very merciful with the youth also right however youth do die and um, those who are in the inner city, inner city know this and so scripture says in Proverbs 23 14 it says thou shalt beat him with the rod and shall deliver his soul from hell. Okay, that is talking about the grave. That that context is talking about the grave. Okay, it's seven seventy five eighty five in your um, strong or vines concordance. Okay, seventy five eighty five Hebrew in the strongs or vines concordance. What is this? This is the this is the strongs. Strong's Concordance, 7585. See? Uh, you guys can't see it. Anyway, 7585, right? Um, it's the word Sheo. And it says, Hades, or the world of the dead. The dead, not the living, okay? The dead. Dead means that you don't exist, okay? And also, the word dead deals with being sleep, okay? Because the, the soul is sleep, right? But it's also a place where the, um, your soul is right where your, um, your, 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 your body that went to the dust is. That's where your soul is. Your soul is where your body that went to the dust is, okay? All right, now, um, and that will resurrect. Now, there is a place called Tartarus, and that's the location where the angels, because, you're so, because they're not souls, they're spirits, and spirits don't die, okay? Those are spirits. The soul can die. Spirits don't die. And when we resurrect, we'll be spirits, okay? 1 Corinthians chapter um, 15 was that 2nd Corinthians 15 I talked about that before in another video if you guys have a question about that but it will be immortal okay and our spirit won't die okay but the soul dies okay not our soul right because we'll have an immortal body so it's not about our soul no more because we'll have an immortal body and we'll be like God it says when we see him we'll be like him okay 
But um, but you know, it's not that we won't have a soul, but we won't be, we won't have an earthen vessel because the earthen vessel went back to the earth. So um, but yes, uh, that's not the heart of God. Seek God about this. Pray about this. Ask the Lord about this. The heart of God is not for God to have you. You know, you had struggles with masturbation, and that's all you did. And you probably said the A word and the B word and the S word and the F word and you died. You got in a car accident and you died and you were um, you were 12. OK, that sin. And this is where we get self-righteous because like those who are living right now listening to this message, weren't you worse than that? Didn't you do more than just masturbate? And, 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 and spew out curse words or, or, or vulgar speech Didn't you do more than that? Didn't you actually have Sexual intercourse And partake in sins With another human being? Okay Didn't you do that? Didn't you indulge in Marijuana? Didn't you indulge in You know um, In you know Homosexuality for those who Operated in homosexuality Didn't you indulge in Alcoholism uh, Being an alcoholic or being a drunkard Didn't you indulge in that um, Didn't you indulge in in, in, in in You know So many different sins um, You know So many different sins man There's people who are alive That have practiced bestiality Okay So it's like Don't be self-righteous because there are people who are waiting on judgment day and their soul is asleep in the grave, right? And they are waiting to be judged for the sins that they did and their sins are nowhere, nowhere near as long as the sins that you've been forgiven for, okay? And Christ is not having them burn during before the time that Jesus existed on physical earth and they never had a break of being burning and burning and they're still burning now currently now then during the Cold War during Gorbachev during um, Nelson Mandela <laughs> during Stalin during the Mongolian um, warriors during um what's my man's name Genghis Khan uh and Genghis Khan actually was living around the same time of Jesus uh during you know Malcolm X like they've been burning only during like no we this is the reason why a lot of people don't come to Christ because they're like wow the God that you serve he's not really he's not where it's at it's because that's not the God we serve we're preaching a false God that is not the God that we serve so I want you guys to get this deep into your soul because you can win way more people with Christ preaching the way he preached rather than preaching the way that 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 you just like to talk cuz people are like you know what i mean they don't even want to grow they just be like you know what i mean they keep on they keep on saying people burning in hell nobody's in hell like and they keep on saying you know what i mean no it's not a you know what i mean nobody's there now when you talk about judgment day like talk accurate there's a time for that and when it happened it'll be the lake of fire like we got to stop that that shows that we look at too many videos and we're not reading and praying. We're looking at so many videos and we're not reading and praying. Half these people with these near-death experiences don't even know the Lord half the time. Okay? You got sinners and saints who got these near-death experience videos. They don't even be knowing the So it's not even about that. They don't they didn't master the spirit realm. And I have to keep saying that all the time. Just because you had a near-death experience, I don't mean you mastered the spirit realm. That's an experience that you had. But you're back on earth experiencing this, the natural realm. You're stuck to this. You're bound to this. This is what you know, like the back of your hands. And you don't, matter of fact, you don't even know this like the back of your hands. You don't even know the physical realm like the back of your hands, okay? You know how many trees you can eat from and how many trees you can die from eating? Because some trees, you know what I mean? And people talk about famines and stuff like that. So many things you can eat from a tree, <laughs> from a tree. Uh, there's so much regular things you can eat that are just in vegetation, like basic vegetation, like grass, 
You see what I'm saying? People talking about storing food. It's just crazy. It's just anyway. God ain't telling none of y'all that either. But we gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get back into y'all with that because I got a good word for y'all about that because the Lord kept speaking. But anyway, God bless you. More knowledge is in the way. Knowledge puffeth up, but love edifies. I'm edifying you because of the knowledge that you need because you can perish without it. Okay, we need to know without. We need to know what God is saying. Okay. We need to know what God is saying. We need to know what God is saying. Man shall not live off bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach.